In this video, we are going to talk about extension types in Dart. If you want to know what are extension types and if you want to see some samples, you can watch this video. I'm going to explain everything and show you some samples. So stay with me. Hi there, this is Imaneo. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about extension types. So it is a new concept that is introduced in Dart 3.3. And basically, it is just a wrapper around a type. So as the documentation says, it is an extension type. It is compile time. And it wraps an existing type with a different static only interface. So it means that extension type is a wrapper that works on compile time. So the difference with a normal class wrapper is that when you have extension type, in the runtime it goes away and system only works with the type that you are extending. But if you have a class wrapper, in the runtime it exists and it has the overheads that the class and object has in the system. There's an example here. Yeah, so the syntax is like this. You write extension type, name of your extension, and the type that you are extending. For example, here we have integer. So basically, we created an extension type on the integer. So in this example, we don't want to have the plus or minus operators. The only operator that we want to have is this one, uh, less than something. So in the sample, we have an integer. It is unsafe int and we can add it with some value here. So it works because it is an integer. But the other sample is the type that we already created. It is id number, which extends int. It is actually int, but with a static type wrapper that we just created. And here, when we want to plus it with something, we get compile error because in the definition, we don't have the plus operator here. So it is not allowed to add something into the ID number. Or if you want to assign an integer into your ID number, it doesn't work. You get compile error because the type is different. One important point is that uh, because it extends the int type, you can cast your ID number to an integer and you can assign it to a normal integer value. And also you can have the operator that you already declared here. You can have the less than operator here and it's okay. So you can read the documentation. I'm not going to read all of them for you. I will put the link into the description. But the thing that I want to show you is an example which explains everything. So we have a package called so loud flutter. So it's a package that simply helps you to play some audio and sound effects in your game. I'm not going to explain the Flutter So Loud plugin, but I'm going to just show you the parts that are uh, related to our topic. So to do that, uh, at first I want to say that uh, the Flutter So Loud plugin is a plugin that is a wrapper around this one. This is a plugin that is written in C++. It is an audio engine. And if you open it, you see that we have play method, we have load method. And when you play something, um, it, it is the C++ code that our Flutter plugin is using. And when you call it in the C++, it returns an integer, which is a handle. So it's like an ID that you can manage the playing audio or sound effect. For example, you can change the volume, you can change the pan, you can pause it, you can resume it. So this is like an ID that you have in the so loud plugin written in C++. So what I'm going to show you is inside the Flutter so loud. I'm in the save the potato game. It's just a simple game that I develop. And suppose that here in initialize, oh, this is a crowded function. Let me write uh, something simpler. Let me close it. Oh, yeah. So suppose that we have a function called init and it is an async function. Inside that we have soloud.instance.load. And 
for example i want to load assets audio victory.mp3 yeah so basically it loads the asset for you it loads the a file or uh, URL anything that you have it supports everything for example for URL you can call this one and in the return you have an audio source so audio source is something that is created using a file a URL or an asset and then you can play it as many times as you want and for example you can say so loud dot instance dot play and the play function wants to have the audio source and in the return it returns a sound handle so it is something similar that we just saw in the underlying library we say that handle and in the audio source we can pass the source that we have created here yeah so we have the handle and in the so loud we have for example pause method uh, here for example you can say set paused you can pass the handle here and you can set the pause to true and it just pauses the audio that is playing or you can for example change the volume yeah, for example, you can set the volume, you can pass the handle and change the volume to half or something like that. Yeah, and the point is that the sound handle is an extension type. If you open it, you see that it is a handle for a sound that is currently playing. So loud methods such as play, return sound handle, and then you can use the handle to stop, seek, pause, set volume or any other uh, methods that Solout supports and the point is that in the C++ side they are just raw integers so as you see in this sample we have an extension types that wraps an actual integer and for example we have an assertion here it can't be less than zero so basically it is just a rule that is applied for the IDs in Solout and yeah this is a simple extension type okay so what are the benefits of using extension type so the first benefit is that uh, it is type safe so instead of having an integer here for example int handle two equals something uh, you know before that it was like this one in the c++ code you have integers so what is the issue with that it, the issue is that sometimes you might pass a wrong number to this one for example this value you know we are humans and we can make mistake you know sometimes you pass a random value you maybe send a hash code of an object to this and you know it happens but when you have sound handle for example suppose that it is not final you cannot pass an integer here because it doesn't accept it says that it is a different type so it, it, the type is sound handle, the library works with sound handle, and there's nothing to do with the integer value here. And the other point that because we have a type here, you can command click or control click if you are on Windows on this object, and then you can read the documentation. You know, it is a separate type. If it was just an integer, you couldn't click on it because it opens the integer documentation but the definition is a handle is an audio handle but here we have a sound handle it is a type if you are curious you can read the documentation of this sound handle and the other point is the readability you see that it is readable you know that the type is sound handle this variable is written from this one and you know when it is an integer it is a little bit confusing because you need to get to know what is this integer value here but when it is a sound handle you know that okay it is something that like an integer or a handle that you can have it and then you can pause or uh, change the volume using this property okay so the point is that we could have a wrapper class for example we could have a wrapper handle audio 
handle and it's like a class and inside that we have the id so it was possible you, you could do that but the point is that when you have an actual class like this it adds the class in runtime so you have the wrapper audio class in the runtime and it adds overhead on GC, it adds overhead on memory and many things. So suppose that we are not in the audio thing, we are working with a sensor or something like that. And uh, we have to work with the value that the library provides. For example, we are using with a C++ library just like this one. And it happens thousands of times in a second. So in that case, if you have a class, the overhead that it adds is obvious but in this case we only have a compile time type so when you compile the app when it goes to the runtime the sound handle goes away and everything is replaced with the integer so it does zero cost for the system or for the gc to work so in this case you have the readability you have the type safety you have the documentation here you have everything but with zero cost and yeah it was a sample that i saw and i wanted to show you and i think we are done with this video i explained everything thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and if you like this kind of content please let me know in the comments bye